Hello guys, welcome back to another video of The Sims 4, or guide, rather. <laughs> and today, I'll be showing you guys my guide to vampires and The Sims 4 of vampires, and what you need to know about them. Now, these are one of the older occults, but still, I personally do love and enjoy playing as one of them. Just because they're so well made, I just personally like... I, I love I love vampires uh, in this in this world. They're they're just so well done. Um, and uh, today I just want to credit that and uh, just do a full on guide for you guys uh, for those vampire fans out there. And since Sims Four Werewolves is on the way, I uh, just want to kind of show my condolences to the Sims Four vampire. Not yeah yeah the Sims Four vampires. I thought I was going to say werewolves again because <laughs> I'm I've been so hyped up over it. Um, <laughs> Because uh, uh, it's just getting closer and closer with every passing day, you know, like today's the 11th, and it's supposed to launch the 16th, it's getting so close. But anyway, um, let's start off things by uh, looking at their skin. Um, the skin, as you would expect, is more pale. Uh, if you notice, uh, my sim has the Master of Darkness, uh, it's because of a certain vampire power that allows you to have this moolet also allowing you to be able to gain skills faster at night and using even less vampire energy and what is that well if you go right here to your needs which has a bat wing right here um that's what the vampire energy means it's literally right here it's this big purple bar um above these other four needs which um hunger is replaced by thirst and the rest of the needs stay the same. Uh, and bladder's gone. And again, like I said, we have vampire energy. Now, what is vampire energy? Hmm. Interesting topic, okay? Well, vampire energy is certainly used to uh, use your uh, vampiric powers. And if you uh, run out of vampire energy, you'll not be able to use any of your... Uh, vampire powers until replenished. You'll have to restore your vampire energy before you can use your vampire powers again. And there is a ranking system. Um, I'm going to show you guys right here in the vampire powers tab. Um, and uh, yeah, you get this whole new cool system. I love this uh, this uh, menu because not only it's so well balanced and that because that's not only because it's powers but as you grow in power you also have to take weaknesses um now personally i'm a huge fan of this because it's so well balanced and it's so well made uh because that way your sim is not like extremely overpowered uh like you have to take a power and what if that conflicts with one of the weaknesses so you had to take another weakness um and um Personally, uh, with my sim, she's got the perfect vampire lifestyle, uh, because she's evil, she, she's an evil vampire sim, <laughs> and, uh, these powers, as well as these weaknesses, are just good for that, in my opinion. So we have, I'm gonna go ahead and name the five uh, weaknesses that I took, that way you can probably learn, uh, if you ever play The Sims 4 Vampires, and if you make your perfect vampire sim... Uh, my five weaknesses that I would take are Withered Stomach. Um, well, first of all, I'm just going to tell you what they do uh, in regards of what happens if you uh, completely go against what it says. So Withered Stomach sounds what it says. If you eat human food, you become nauseated and you will throw up in the toilet. Uh, so not a really bad thing to uh, not really bad. It's just you have to go vomit <laughs> if you eat human food. Um, so, again, that's really the only thing that happens, uh, if you eat human food, then your sim will throw up and get nauseated. Um, if your sim is, uh, evil and doesn't really mind getting a relationship, then get uncontrollable hissing. Uh, basically, your sim will occasionally hiss, um, disgusting others and making some bad relationships. The relationship will go down and disgust sims. But, um, that's if you don't really care about getting relationships. Uh, Sleep with the Undead. So this one is, again, just like these two. Uh, if you don't care about sleeping in a regular bed, uh, 
your vampire's friend can sleep in coffins. And that's pretty much the only place where they can sleep. And a lot of people are probably going to see me hate mail for this, but I don't care. Um, the next one is Insatiable Thirst, or Thirst, sorry, or Insatiable Thirst. I think we got that right that time. Um, I've seen people say that word. I don't know why I can't say that. Um, basically, you would have to drink from Sims more often. Um, but the thing about this power, or this weakness, sorry, um, is that, uh, during nighttime, uh, this is not a really big deal, so, like, uh, the thirst will go down normally, and then, uh, during the morning and during the day, this will go down fast, causing your sim to, um, well, for one, go in what's called their dark form if they get too thirsty, um, and they will uncontrollably char uh, drink from some somebody, um, and again, they automatically, without uh, you doing it, they will automatically go to their dark form, so, uh, yes. So again, really, it's really not that bad, it's just you're going to have to feed off of other sims more often. And then Undead Aura. I'm not even going to go into detail with this. Really similar to the uncontrollable hissing to where uh, you will start with uh, negative relationships. So uh, that's pretty much my weaknesses. Um, I want to tell you a weakness that you would never want to get. And that is thin-skinned. Never take this weakness. Um, especially if you put three points into it. It's just not. It's just not worth it. Um, the reason behind this is... Even, like, within seconds of your vampire sun being out in the sun, the vampire energy will go down fast. Like, I'm talking, like, I don't know, like, 15 to 30 seconds in the sun, and vampire energy will be completely deleted. <laughs> like, it, it'll be just deleted. Um, and that's really dangerous because vampire sims can die uh, in the sunlight if they are not inside uh, in time. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, if you have seasons, though, you can also have an umbrella to protect them. So, um, I do recommend getting an umbrella. And that does conflict with this one. Um, I recommend getting this no matter what. And that is the perfect sun resistance. Put all three points into this. And, uh, your vampire sim can basically live a normal life. Because they will not be harmed at all. They are harmless to the sun. Uh, they take no vampire energy loss at all. The only thing it really does conflict with the sun, though, is that um, your vampire energy does decrease faster and more when you use your powers during the day. Um, but um, overall, pretty good. And the Master of Darkness will also kind of also allow you to use less vampire energy, save for the occult student. Uh, starts with occult, occult student. If you put all three, it says occult master. This is allowing you to use the less amount of vampire energy as possible. So if you have both of these powers, um, you basically have a lot uh, of vampire energy to spend during the night. And not to mention, there are two to three ways, depending on the weaknesses you have chosen. Uh, if you have Sleep of the Undead, uh, then there's only two options, but if you don't have this, there's actually three options. Uh, the three total options to get vampire energy back is by meditating, which is a dark meditation. You click on your sim, and you go to vampire, and you go to have a dark meditation. Now, obviously, my sim has full vampire energy, so she doesn't need to have a dark meditation at this time. Um, but if you have vampire energy that needs to be replenished, well, this is a quick and easy way. Do note, though, that it will give you a energized mulet, and you won't be able to use Dark Meditation until that mulet expires. Uh, the second method, if you have the weakness that I was talking about, is the coffin. You can either hibernate, which allows... Now, this is the best option. Um, if you hibernate, the, uh, the thirst, social, hygiene, and fun needs will stay put. Okay? Like, they won't decay at all. Allowing your vampire energy to increase back to maximum while thirst, social, hygiene, and fun stay uh, at the exact same spot. They won't go down. Uh, they won't go up. Um, it's a really perfect option there. Slumber and nap is just like a regular sim. They sleep. 
the vampire energy goes up and the other needs go down as well. But the hibernate option is really the best because it allows you to sleep for as long as you want. Um, just put the ice on the cake, will you? Um, so how, remember what I was talking about about dark form earlier? Um, I did click on my sim just now. Oh, by the way, let me go ahead and quickly show you guys something else. And that is the plum bob. Or the ribbon on the plum bob. Now, if you didn't know, every cult has this. Um, and by the way, this is such a well-made plum bob. I love the fact they did this. Uh, it's literally a bat. Uh, literally a bat. And I love this. Um, put the ice on the cake again, why don't you? Um... And again, if you click on my if I click on my sim here, go to vampire, and there it is. We can show dark form, which is like your very full of vampire self, and that's the one that's used for biting the most often. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick. It's really cool animation here. As soon as she's done exercising. Um, but yeah, and that's this is her dark form. <laughs> <laughs> she loves fitness. <laughs> She's actually really buff right now. But again, this is her dark form. I think you can see why the dark form looks pretty cool because uh, I made like eyeshadow for like bat wings for her makeup on her eyeshadow. Uh, and that's actually pretty cool. Now, personally, I love the clothes for the females better because they're just so well made. Um, like dresses and stuff, like the cast objects and stuff, uh, outfits, clothes, pants, shoes, you name it. Uh, it's pretty well made, I'm not going to lie. And this is completely irrelevant to the video, but I just do want to mention this real quick before I move on with uh, the other things I do want to mention about vampires. Um... I think I know the exact reason why Sims 4, or EA, is making Sims 4 packs separate. I know the exact reason. Now, send me hate mail, I don't care. <laughs> but the reason why they're doing it separately, instead of in one pack, like the Sims 3 Supernatural, um... Because the Sims 3 Supernatural added fairies, werewolves, uh, witches, zombies, genies, and vampires on, on top of all of those in the one pack. And it was laggy. I mean, it was kind of glitchy and really wasn't, it really wasn't balanced. Like, I mean, it was really unbalanced. Um, and that's because it was in one pack. All of that was in one pack. The game couldn't handle it. And... That's that's why. And that is why EA is doing it separately, so that way you can fix the bugs, make sure the pack is well played, make sure it's not glitchy, and make sure it's overall great. That's why we'll get in separate packs. Um, so, like, 2017, we had vampires. Um, now, let me fix this order. Um, like, back in 2000... I want to say 15... 2015, when Get to Work came out, we had Aliens, and then uh, the next cult after that, I think was, yeah, it was Vampires, what am I saying? So that, in 2017, we had Vampires, and then uh, 2019, we had Mermaids, uh, or no, 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 that's uh, the other. 2018, sorry, we had <laughs> Mermaids. And then 2019, we had Spellcasters, which were the AKA the witches and warlocks. And then this year <laughs> we are getting werewolves. So like again, uh it's really, really cool and I I think that's why I think that's the main reason, if not the only reason, why they are getting it uh separately, uh rather than just putting in one pack. Um, because it was so glitchy, it was so unbalanced, like I said. But uh, let's go back to the Sims 4 vampires. I just wanted to make that little um, quote, quote unquote, <laughs> um, that way people would know, or, or simmers in this case would know, sorry, <laughs> um, why EA has been putting it in separate packs than putting it all in one pack. 
Uh, and the Simisu Supernatural is just a great example for this. Um, but, uh, yes. Um, something else before I start um, with um, The Sims for Vampires again. Um, well, I want to talk about this one thing, is that this is the new uh, world, a.k.a. neighborhood, that came with um, uh, the Vampires pack. And this is Forgotten Hollow. Let me go ahead and put the roof up, so that way it's not bothering anything. Um, but... Uh, it's really cool. Uh, it's it's sorry that it's winter right now because this is not what it looks like normally, because there's snow everywhere because it's winter. Um, the mountains look really cool. Like imagine like a werewolf cave up here and seeing a werewolf, <laughs> that would just be creepy. But if you go like way high up, uh, you can really get a good town perspective. So there's the middle. And up here is where the boss vampire is, or if the lead vampire is, or was until I killed him. <laughs> uh, this is where Flag lives, or where he used to live until I killed him. Which brings me on to my little next thing. I was going to say the other thing, but uh, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, vampires have a special urn and grave. Um, this is what the urn looks like. I'm actually going to go ahead. I don't think I can pick it up. Put it in inventory. Uh, that's what the urn looks like. Uh, it has a bat standing on the urn. Um, like so. Uh, really cool. Um, go ahead and send my sim up, up there to get the urn. So that way we can put it in the grave. The sims are mourning his uh, grave. I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, and you see that? That was the hissing. Um, something else I forgot about, uh, about the hissing is if other vampires are near, it won't bother them. Uh, so if you're in front, if you're friends with another vampire, the hissing will not bother them. You will not get any relationship effects at all with the hissing, uh, with other vampires. It's just other Sims, uh, and uh, any other occult at this particular time. That it will affect the relationship of. So that includes mermaids, aliens, and spellcasters. But vampires are not affected whatsoever. So you're safe to be around other vampires. Um, while your sim is hissing. Um, so uh, let me go ahead and get to the grave now. Uh, the grave is quite similar to the other. And what you would expect. Uh, like so. There's the grave. But uh, it has a bat on it, as you would expect. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's practically it. Um, and if it wasn't snowy all over the place, this one downside the seasons, and if it's winter, because you can't really see the ground, all you see is white. Um, if you have seasons and it's winter, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Like, look at this. This is kind of realistic too, but look at this. Look how you're supposed to see the ground if there was snow right here. And yes, this is kind of realistic. Like, imagine like this little bump up here. Like, uh, it's kind of glitched. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of glitched. Um, but overall, it's kind of it's really realistic actually. But when you look over here, it's kind of it's kind of glitched. Like you see the texture. It's really bad. Um, but overall, I really do love the Sims for Vampires. I love how well they're made. Um, I forgot to mention something else. Uh, the powers. Um, try to cheer up. No, no, no. Um, I forgot the powers. Duh! And what they do. <laughs> um, and then we'll end the video because I'm about out of time for this video. Um, so, spoiler alert, if you're unfamiliar... My two favorite powers to use are obviously the command and the deprive. The, the deprive needs. Um, the command, you can command sims to be mean to other sims. You can command them to work out. Leave. You can even, uh, what is that? Oh, repair. Command repair, sorry. And then repair to clean. And my favorite of them all is to just plain out set. <laughs> you can put it, you can really, you can just 
clean out, command them to, I command you to set down. And they literally sit down on their knees. And then, like, they, like, like, they're begging for mercy. Like, no, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't suck my blood. Please, I'll do anything. And it sounds like they're just pleading. Um, or it looks like they're pleading. Doesn't sound like it. They look like they're pleading. Sorry. Um, just the absolute ridiculous. And then deprive needs. Another fun option. Like, say you go out in public and you can make any of these needs go down. Some of, the, some of them are not available, like uh, bladder and energy, if they're a vampire. They're just not available. Uh, you know what could have been cool and what they could have implemented is if you could steal another sim's vampire energy and you can take it for yourself. That would have been a great aspect. Uh, that would have been that would have been icing on the cake right there. 100%. Like, come on, EA. Missed opportunity. Like, seriously. And then vampires don't have uh, bladders, so I can totally uh, give them the benefit of the doubt for not doing this, because they don't have bladder. Um, and then for regular sims and other occults, it's going to be hunger, but for vampires, you can deprive their first instead. All right. Thirst. <laughs> I'll keep saying the wrong name. And then hygiene, because vampires still have hygiene. And fun fact, if the sim is a mermaid, uh, instead of hygiene, it's going to be hydration, and it still does work. So, uh, that's a really cool aspect. I just wish it would say, like, deprive hydration instead. Uh, but unfortunately, it does not. Now, the deck personality for me is really cool, because it allows you to instantly figure out all the other traits of another sim, uh, instantly. So you can see what you don't like about them, and what you like about them. So, like, it's really cool. Um, it's something else I really like about it. Through hallucination, you can make sims talk to themselves. Really funny. Make your sim clap at them and laugh. Uh, just overall really funny. Uh, drink plasma. You cannot drink from another uh, vampire. Uh, you can also request uh, vampiric training if your sim is a high enough rank. Um, but the other sim, uh, on a note, has to be... Uh, and a good emotions, so like happy, focused, confident, inspired, any of those positive emotions they have to be in in order to do uh, this option. Mesmerize, it's like a strong version of hallucination, but instead of talking uh, to themselves, they kind of go stunned. Like, they just go woozy and kind of, like, go, like, completely, like, they just completely lose their stableness, if that makes any sense. Like, they're just completely unstable. They're just completely unstable, and they're just super daisy, or woozy. Daisy? <laughs> woozy. And they can't really think straight. And then these two, uh, I'm not going to go into much detail with this one. This was similar to the requesting, but instead of, uh, it's, uh, or the uh, offering, but it's request. So if a sim is a higher rank than you, you can request them to uh, offer you uh, vampiric training. Um, it's like Flad or Caleb uh, at beginning. You can uh, ask them for your help. And then, you guys knew this was coming. Uh, if the sim is an ordinary sim, it cannot be any other cult. If your sim is an ordinary sim, you can straight up turn them into a vampire. It's, again, why why would they not implement this? Again, it should be an all sim thing. Like, honestly. Yes, you can turn other Sims into vampires, um, but unlike other Sims games, it's a power. Like it's not an interaction like Sims Three or Sims Two. Uh, it's an interaction. It's not. It's not an interaction. It's a power this time around. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys. It's. I think it's getting that. Yeah, it's getting that minor rank vampire, or a vampire minor rank. Uh, and yeah, it's right here. Vampire creation. See. Gain the power to turn other sims into vampires. Uh, again, uh, just great for the other. Uh, something else I want to talk about is garlic. Now, if you don't have the garlic immunity uh, power, which is shown here, it's also right next to the vampire creation in the minor uh, level, or minor rank. Um, without this, if your vampire sim is near garlic, they cannot bite from other sims. Uh, and they will have an uncomfortable move that's frustrating, because if you're near garlic, 
uh, you just cannot, you cannot reverse it. Like, you're going to not be able to, uh, you're not going to be able to bite from other stems. Um, so if you don't have, like, plasma packs or plasma fruit, you're going to have a hard time getting a third step, which, uh, it's not really big of a deal. It's just kind of annoying and frustrating. Um, but yeah, that's basically The Sims 4 Vampires. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Um, and if you want a part two, because I didn't really explain everything, I didn't show you guys everything in this part, or in this episode. So if you want a part two of The Sims 4 Vampires, please let me know in the comments. I'll gladly do it. And until next time, peace out.